Do you want to grow your YouTube channel online for free in 2021? If so, stick around, we'll show you how. I'm going to be covering four free tools that I strongly recommend you check out if you haven't already to help grow your channel in 2021. Not everyone has a big budget to invest in your channel. If you're not yet monetized, you might not have a lot of cash flow coming in. We understand that we want to help you get to monetization, get to that point where you can start investing in your channel a bit more, but you got to start somewhere. So let's cover some free tools that you can use right now to grow your channel online for free. So the first thing I want to talk about is Audacity. I'm using it right now to record the audio from this video. It's a completely free program. It works on tablets and desktops. It's absolutely fantastic. And it's not just about recording that audio in case you want it separately as a wave or an MP3, but it's actually got a very robust noise reduction tool, which is critical. If you're recording in a room that has air conditioning going, or maybe a fridge rather rattling in the corner or a fan going or just some sort of consistent ambient noise and your microphone's picking it up and you want it out of there, then the noise reduction tool in Audacity is fantastic for that. It's what a lot of the professional podcasters use. Some of them use other products, but a lot use this. And so I strongly recommend that you get Audacity. It's totally free. We'll put a link in the description so you can go find it. And we have a tutorial video on this channel that shows you how to do that noise reduction thing. It's like six clicks or less. It actually couldn't be much easier. Once you know it, it could make a fantastic difference in the audio quality of your channel. And study after study has shown that one of the things that turns people off of videos the most is poor audio quality. So let's make sure that doesn't happen to you. The next thing I want to talk about is a website called Social Blade. Now Social Blade does have a paid option. I haven't used the paid option, but the free information on Social Blade is really useful. It provides historical and future projection information about your channel. It tells you if it's very clear what country your channel is in, what genre your channel is in, and it will show your growth over time. So it's pretty cool to go back and look at the historical stuff. Maybe sometimes you wonder, did I did I lose some views? Did my views drop down? Well, if it was enough to impact like the overall total for the month, the week or whatever, you can go see on the graph if your views actually went down. Maybe YouTube did an audit that took some views away. Maybe you deleted or privated a video, but you you can see that. You can see, oh, which month was my strongest month? If you're not sure when uh, seasonally your channel is at its prime, that's a very easy way to see that, oh, we, we're constantly growing in December and maybe we're slower in January. And so you might want to adjust your content strategy to account for that. And that's fantastic. And it also gives you future projections. Now, keep in mind, these future projections are just a mathematical extrapolation. People are like, oh, Social Blade said I'd have a thousand subscribers by June 21st and it's the 22nd. It's an estimate. It obviously doesn't perfectly anticipate real life. It's not a fortune teller, but it looks at your recent trends on your channel and then projects them over the next month to five years. So you can kind of see where your channel is charting. And I find that hugely motivational because I just want to go on that line and pull it up. I look at it. I'm like, okay, so if I keep doing what I'm doing, I'll have a million views by August or whatever. And so then I think, what can I do to beat that goal? What can I do to make it happen in July or June? And so I think that's fantastic. And it can also be useful to look at other channels to see sort of how other channels are doing in your niche and genre, or maybe you're considering collaborating with someone and you kind of want to understand what their recent growth has been like. And so it can be useful for that. And it is, again, all that information I talked about totally free. Now, I do want to have a little caveat here, a little caution. I would ask that you please don't use Social Blade to judge other channels. Um, you know, if you want to take something positive out of it and compliment them, hey, you've had great growth here. Fantastic. Congratulations. That's fine. But if you see a negative view count, I don't want you assuming that they purchased views or something. Or, you know, if they have a negative sub count that they have sub for sub. It could be that people unsubscribe for one reason or another. Or they might have uh, deleted or private 
unedited videos that would cause the views to go negative, or a YouTube automated audit rightly or wrongly may have removed views from that channel. So it's a fantastic resource, but don't take it as a perfect predictor of the future, and please don't use it to kind of trash other channels, because you don't, it gives you some information, but it doesn't tell you the full story in full context. So it's useful up to a point, but just kind of keep that in mind. That having been said, I find it fantastically useful. It has lists of top YouTubers, and one of the things that's nice, if you're not yet monetized and you're curious, how much could I make out of the current traffic coming through my channel? It does have an estimated range of what you would make every day, every month, every year. And so that might help put your expectations in a little bit more appropriate context and limitations. Oh, if I get 100 views a day, I won't be making a million dollars. Okay, I've got now the math to prove it. <laughs> and that can be helpful. The third thing I want to talk about is TubeBuddy. TubeBuddy is fantastic. This video is not sponsored. I do have an affiliate link down below, but there is a free version of TubeBuddy that has nearly, I think, three dozen tools. There's more than 30 free tools in the free version. It's absolutely fantastic. Channelytics, so you can see channel tags that other channels are using, and you can look at their growth. They've got videolytics. You can see the video tags that other channels are using. You can see where they're sharing their videos on Twitter and with what hashtags. You can see where they're being shared on Reddit. It gives you so much information. So the browser plugin you can get, totally free. Click the link down below. And now if you really want to take things to the next level, there are played options. So, uh, and I do highly recommend those on my Vacation Impossible channel. I use the Legend Plan and it is amazing. And we have a lot of videos here on this channel that talk about all the different tools you can get with TubeBuddy. So I strongly recommend you check them out. But even if you don't have a budget right now, Get the free version. When anyone ever asks me for help with YouTube, my first question is, do you have TubeBuddy? Because you gotta get that first. If you don't have TubeBuddy, it's like you're driving with one eye covered. You're not getting the depth. You're not seeing the whole picture. You need to have that tool to see how your videos are scoring on SEO, how your tags are ranking. It will suggest tags. It'll keep you from getting demonetized by letting you know if you're using basically like poison pill words in your description, title, or tags that'll get you demonetized later. So many useful tools. I could make an entire day-long video about it. Uh, strongly recommend it. Just get the free version if you, if, you, if you don't have the funds for the paid version right now. And then the last thing that I want to recommend, number four, is Epidemic Sound. Now this, you can only get free for one month. However, I think that there's a way you can do this very strategically. And so if you don't, again, have a huge budget right now, here's my recommendation. Everything that you upload during your free month, you own the rights to for life, those particular videos. So here's what I recommend. If you've got a Vlogmas-like event coming up where you've decided, you know what, I'm going to put out a video every day for a month. That's the perfect time to get your free month of Epidemic. You can get sound effects and music and use it for all those videos and just really concentrate it, get the maximum value out of your free month. And then hopefully that can help take your channel off. And then again, for things like TubeBuddy and Epidemic, in the future, if you do have the funds available and you want to get the paid services, then that's fantastic. But you've still got the advantage of the free stuff. So there you have it, four free tools that you can use today to grow your YouTube channel at no cost to you. I strongly recommend obviously all four of them uh, and I've used them myself to great advantage. So thank you so much for watching. I would also recommend that you watch an important trilogy of videos we have on this channel about search engine optimization called SEO. It's a trilogy of videos that'll show you how to write titles for search descriptions for search and tags for search. I think it's absolutely critical. Every YouTuber needs to know these things. If you want to get views while you snooze, that's how you do it. That way the videos perform even when you're not actively pushing them on social media. Let the videos work for you. Strongly, strongly recommend you check that out. Question of the day. What did I miss? Is there another free tool out there that you think is fantastic? Let me know in the comments down below. Maybe we'll check it out and maybe we'll make a tutorial or a recommendation video about it in the future. So please love to hear what you'd have to say. What do you use that's free to grow your channel? Thanks so much for watching and we'll see you in the next video.